Callie, you have to leave now. For fuck's sake, Phil. I'm not going to. How many times? How many times does this have to happen again? What if the next time he does more than just throw James across the room? What if next time he really hurts him? What then? Listen, Phil. James is why I called. Uncle Phil. Hey. You still here? Yeah. I I'm sorry, James. What did you say? I appreciate you paying for lunch, but I gotta get going. See you later. Well, wait. No. Sit down, please. Please, sit down. Your mother contacted me recently. Jesus, Phil, I don't want listen, to Listen, listen. Two seconds, all right. She called me recently. She told me she has a lump. Now, we're not sure if it means anything because she hasn't got the test back yet. You want me to call her? I want you to call her. What if I don't want to? What if I call and he picks up instead? James, I know I'm not your father. Yeah, you're not. You're better than he ever was, and I don't know why she... If you hadn't seen what was going on, taking me out of there, I don't know if I'd still be alive. That wasn't exactly how it happened. What the hell else is there, Phil? You want me to call child services? And put him in a foster home? Remember that? Is that the kind of life you want for him? You know how much I want to help you. I mean, please, God, I know you do. But I'm not parent material. I need you to be. I just need you to be a... Babysitter, just for a while. When you're ready to leave this son of a bitch, I'll tell you this right now. I'll be here in a minute. Phil, I just... No, I will take you and James out of here. No questions asked. But if you don't leave, then I can't help you. A week later, you had a broken arm, and I took you home with me. Before you, I was a piece of shit. I mean, I... This is her new number. You don't call her. I don't hold it against you. But I remember when I didn't listen to her when she needed me most. Well, I, I don't want you to live your life with that. She loves you, son. She loves you. 